Good morning. Welcome back to JPCE Spiritual Talk. It's Jerry Campbell. So this morning's devotional, Displaying God Through Your Life. A small reading from Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 through 13. Let's open up our prayer, and then we'll get into our devotional. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shine to hearts, O loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our mind, that we may understand your teachings in Scripture. Help us to apply what we learn, so after having, so after having conquered civil desires, we may pursue a spiritual way of life, thanking you and doing all things that are pleasing to you. For your Christ, your God, you are lied to you, your glory, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever, in this ages. Amen. Lord is our shepherd. All right, good morning. Welcome back. So great is his faithfulness. Indeed, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So display God through your life. Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 through 13. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work on your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So salvation is not an event. It's a process. Salvation is God's gift, for there is nothing we can do to save ourselves. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8-9 through nine. Yet with salvation comes the responsibility to work out our salvation. Once we've been saved, we must claim all that has become ours. Through salvation, God gave us victory over sin. That victory applies not only to past sins, but also to every sin you will ever commit. When you become a Christian, God made you a new creation. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. God wants to continually build new things into your life as you walk with Him. God gave you His joy when He saved you. And He wants to fill you with His joy daily. When you first repented of your sin, you relinquished your right to your life. God continues to ask you to yield your will to Him and follow His leading rather than rather than setting your own direction for your life. When you were converted, God made everything available to you. How you implement what He has given what He has given you is your choice. Second Peter chapter one verses three through nine. It's huge, isn't it? That is great paradox of Christian life. We are to work digitally on our faith, yet always with the awareness that only God can bring about lasting change in our lives. As we see God at work in us, we are motivated to work even more digitally. God will not force his changes upon us. Neither can we bring about lasting change in our lives apart from the work of the Holy Spirit. When you sense God developing the area of your life, join him in his activity so that his salvation will be demonstrated fully in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Another beautiful reading, another beautiful reflection. So we strive for obedience, right? That's what it's saying. Strive for obedience. Does that make sense? Let's read Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 through 13 again. It says, Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work on your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. Therefore, because of Christ's sacrifice, we are to take hold of what God offers, accepting his grace and working towards becoming mature in Christ. We see the cooperation in these scriptures. We work out our own salvation. That was verse 12. While it is God who works in us to do what his will, that was verse 13. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Beautiful. And one last thing regarding salvation. As Christians, we are no longer under the demands of the Old Testament law. Romans chapter 3, verse 20. For Christ fulfilled the law. Galatians chapter 2, verse 21. Galatians chapter 3, verse 5. And verse 24. Galatians 3. By God's mercy, we are brought into a new covenant relationship with Him. We who believe are granted entrance into His kingdom by His grace. Through His mercy, we are justified by faith and empowered by God for good works or deeds of righteousness that bring glory to Him. In the name of the Father, Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Strive for obedience. I love you all so much. Strive for obedience in Christ. Work out your own salvation. It's a process. Our faith is a marathon, not a sprint. It doesn't matter where you start. It matters where you finish. Stay on your path. Right? Don't get off of it. Be justified by faith. Right? I love you all so much. We're going to end. Close out in our prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh Lord God, you've spoken to us your divine saving words. You illuminate the souls of sinners that comprehend what we just read. That we don't appear simply as hear spiritual words, but doers of good deeds, true pursuers of faith. Having a blameless life and conduct without reproach in Christ our Lord. You are light to you, ye glory. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever. And sages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, how be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses. To forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. But yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit. But now and forever, the sages. Amen. The Lord is our shepherd. We depart in peace. In the name of the Lord, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Peace be with you all. Go in peace. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those who hate us. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be merciful to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. But now and forever, the sages. Amen. The Lord is our shepherd. Jerry Wesley Campbell, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever and however these messages these messages find you all. I love you all so much. JPCE Spiritual Talk. Never ever hold back. Seek truth. It's about a relationship. It's not about religion. Okay? Give him your heart. He does the rest. Okay? Live to do his will, his, his purpose. Not your own. Strive for obedience. I love you all so much. I'm out.